Thank you so much for coming back to another video and in today's video we're going to be talking about 2012. I am very very happy to be welcoming for the very first time here on my channel Cine Arts, who was one of the earliest channels that I made friends with here on YouTube. Probably within the first like five people that I met who also had a growing movie review channel and yeah ever since then I've been supporting his channel and vice versa and so it's been really great to see both of our channels grow and see the two of us get a lot better at reviewing films over time and yeah I've just really thoroughly enjoyed his content over time and so with all that said it's a very long overdue collab. This is a very long overdue collab, but it's finally happening. As usual, you guys can find the link to any of my guests down below in the description box. Go give him some love. Let him know I sent you. We're going to be hearing from him in just a little bit. But for now, let's get into my thoughts on 2012 or 2012, whatever you like to call it. Uh, I remember when this movie was coming out, 2009, and just this time frame in general, there were so many things in the media, whether it was movies or video games or songs, that were playing off of this whole idea of the world ending in 2012. For people who are not familiar with this at all, maybe you're a little bit younger, maybe you weren't really paying attention, there was this whole thing about the fact that the Mayans had predicted, you know, supposedly, that in 2012, the Earth as we know it, life as we know it, would come to an end. And uh, yeah, that's what this movie plays on, you know, the idea that that actually does happen. This movie is directed by Roland Emmerich, who is a director that I'm kind of hot and cold with, but you know, that he's got some really big hits that I love, like Independence Day, or things like The Patriot, and then there's some that I kind of have a guilty pleasure enjoyment of, of like the 1998 Godzilla that people don't really like, but then he's got some real stinkers in there, like 10,000 BC or things like Independence Day Resurgence. So, you know, it's kind of like a hot and cold with Roland Emmerich for me at times. But as far as this movie goes, I think he did a phenomenal job of directing this film. It's big, it's fun, it's over the top. And it does a really good job of honing in on the characters, the humans in the situation, and not being one of those generic disaster films that just kind of has a lot of spectacle but doesn't really have characters because in a lot of ways this film could really fall into a generic category but i do find it to be one of the better disaster films that i've ever seen and one of the more entertaining just fun ones to watch there's some really big spectacle moments there are those big elements and big moments that you expect to see in a disaster film of this of this nature but on top of that it really has a great story at the center of it with characters that you truly can feel for who go on a journey have to go through through arcs and change by the end of the film. Uh, the film primarily focuses on John Cusack's character. His name is Jackson, and he, you know, once was a, you know, a pretty prominent writer, and now not so much. You know, some people know who he is. Some people doesn't really know who he is. He's kind of still trying to ride on the popularity of who he once was. But overall, he's kind of a struggling writer. Uh, he's got the whole ex-wife na narrative going on. You know, the ex-wife who now has the new husband. The kids primarily stay with the mom. You know, he's just kind of going through different jobs. In this movie, he's a limo driver. Driver, and um, you know he's kind of got that relationship with his kids that's a little bit strange the daughters still kind of got like a you know daddy's girl kind of uh, approach he's definitely really excited to spend time with them and the son is in that 11 to 12 to 13 year old range of you know I'm too cool for school kind of thing you do learn more about why that is over time you know where the disconnect is uh, the son has a, a bit more of an attachment to the stepdad right now which kind of makes John Cusack's character feel a little bit strange and um, yeah over the course of the film it's nice to see all of these characters be stuck in such a devastating situation and really have to rely on one another and being able to see the character grow throughout the entire film, whether it's from the fathers to the kids or the kids to the father or the kids to the mom or even the ex-wife to, you know, John Cusack's character. The ex-wife and mother of the kids in this film is played by Amanda Peet. You also have people like uh, Chiwetel Ejiofor, who's phenomenal in this film and he's just always a really great actor. Uh, you also have people like Woody Harrelson, who has a, a fairly brief performance in the film. And overall, you have a really great cast throughout the course of the film, even if they're just in small roles. And it's just a story about a family, even if they're a bit disjointed and kind of have their own drama going on, really being put into a situation where they really have to, you know, put aside a lot of that bullshit. You know, they have to put aside a lot of that, that just drama and negativity and struggles and family nonsense to really love each other and take care of each other. And I feel like the movie really hones in on that. To be able to see these characters go from, you know, point A to point B by the time the film is over and see the connections that have grown, see even the ex-wife look at John Cusack a little bit differently as he's been this father putting everything on the line for these kids. I really, really enjoy being able to see these parents having to come together, even though they're not literally together, with the stepdad in the mix and the kids. I just feel like it's a pretty 
interesting and fun narrative in this disaster situation where you have massive earthquakes and buildings collapsing and, and volcanoes exploding. It's very big, it's over the top, it's really, really ridiculous. But at the same time, it, it does really have a, a really human story at the center of it that I think really makes this movie work. And then of course, beyond that, you're, you have the traditional trope of a disaster film, you know, cutting between the family that we're focusing on and people like Chiwetel Ejiofor, who's, you know, working with scientists and the government. And, you know, there's that whole element to the disaster movie element. But overall, really enjoy this film. And that's just my general consensus. Uh, I, I definitely rambled a little bit more here than I intended to, but uh, let's go ahead and jump into what cine arts have to say, uh, cause that seems like we're pretty much on the same page. Thanks for having me on, Anthony. I uh, really appreciate uh, this invite and uh, really nice of you to do this. And yes, just uh, for me, an honor uh, to be featured on your channel. Um, you know, love your stuff, your content, and uh, your positivity, uh, you know, of course. And just uh, your support, always appreciate uh, your support and, uh, you know, within this kind of film uh, community and uh, really good pick here as well. I must say, uh, this is a film that I saw many, many times uh, when I was younger and uh, to see this kind of pop up, uh, you know, on your um, suggestion, uh, you know, for this review uh, was very nice to see and uh, got the Blu-ray uh, finally, um, you know, of course, to uh, kind of rewatch this film and uh, just many memories, uh, you know, seeing this uh, when I was younger and uh, just for me, uh, you know, as well, Roland Emmerich, uh, you know, is just um, a great director, um, I find, and uh, just making these disaster films, uh, you know, these massive, massive films and uh, always you know, quite a few of them at least, uh, you know, are just fun films, uh, you know, with a kind of a tone, uh, you know, and kind of an energy about them. And uh, I think just, uh, you know, this one here, uh, I know it's not really too popular, um, you know, you could say, um, and uh, although it done very, very well at the box office, uh, you know, in a massive budget as well, um, but, you know, done very, very well. And uh, it was, it wasn't, you know, poorly received, um, but it's not really kind of a film that's talked about too much, um, you know, kind of held in um, high regard, um, you could say. Um, for me, this film, uh, you know, is just uh, a great, yes, a great uh, disaster film and uh, just so well made and, uh, you know, the effects and um, the action, of course, um, massive, massive set pieces, um, but never really losing the kind of focus, you know, on the characters and um, the narrative here is just so kind of um, epic, you know, in scope. There's just so many different characters um, that we follow throughout the film, uh, all given their own kind of arc and, um, you know, interesting uh, kind of traits, um, you could say. And uh, Jackson, of course, played by John Cusack, uh, you know, who I'm a big fan of. Um, you know, he's a great character, in my opinion. Of course, this kind of struggling writer, um, as well as a kind of limo driver, of course, and, uh, you know, conveniently uh, picking the family up, uh, you know, of course, from the disaster, um, you know, the first one, of course, being the earthquake um, in LA and uh, just this kind of very, very famous uh, set piece. And uh, I just love the way in which this um, though takes its time, you know, in the first act and uh, kind of this peaceful, um, you know, gradual build up, um, you know, of character um, development and uh, just kind of setting the tone uh, of the film. Uh, we get all these different warnings as well. Um, of course, Adrian uh, being played by Chiwetel um, Ejiofor, you know, who's great in this film, uh, loved um, this kind of performance and um, this character, um, this kind of geologist um, who kind of um, is the first one to kind of, um, you know, um, voice these concerns and, uh, you know, it's just great to see these characters kind of built up at first and then to put them into this um, situation, uh, you know, all kind of different locations across the world. Um, it's just so great to see and uh, so investing. And uh, yes, just Jackson, uh, of course, you know, the kind of um, the banter as well between Jackson and um, Gordon, who is, of course, the kind of new partner, um, you know, of Jackson's, um, you know, ex ex-wife, um, Kate, and, um, you know, uh, Gordon is a great character as well, and uh, just this enjoyability, uh, you know, this kind of drama and um, comedy, you know, of these two, you know, the banter between them, and, uh, you know, Tom McCarthy um, playing Gordon, uh, you know, really liked in this film, and uh, just some epic moments uh, as well in the final act, um, you know, involving uh, all these different characters, and uh, the way in which this culminates, um, you know, it's just epic, uh, of course, and uh, really positive, uh, you know, I find, um, this film, you know, it's not just a disaster film, uh, you know, it has some really nice uh, messages and uh, this really warm feeling, uh, you know, I get from it and uh, just this kind of um, all-encompassing uh, disaster film and, uh, you know, as I say, pretty um, decent uh, running time uh, so we get, you know, enough time uh, to kind of um, know the characters, um, you know, in their world and uh, to see it kind of 
you know, destroyed like this and uh, for them to kind of band together, um, you know, it brings out that kind of comfort, um, that warmth, you know, of um, a disaster film and, uh, you know, I love seeing great disaster films and um, this one for me, you know, is um, a great one and uh, just so kind of um, varied, you know, in the different um, kind of disasters that we see, um, of course, earthquakes and, uh, you know, tsunamis and, of course, Yellowstone uh, erupting, uh, you know, just wow, what an epic moment. And uh, of course, Woody Harrelson as well, um, you know, the kind of um, hilarious moments, you know, seeing him, you know, in this um, sequence in particular, um, you know, it's just priceless. And, uh, you know, this film, you know, really has uh, many different moments of comedy um, throughout. And uh, it is also, you know, tragic in places. And, uh, you know, I just love the way in which um, Emmerich brings this together and, um, you know, kind of um, never, um, you know, for a moment was I kind of bored of this film, uh, you know, it's just this um, film is such a flow, um, the editing is so strong here and um, the way in which it's directed, um, you know, just a hats off um, to Roland Emmerich, uh, you know, just once again delivering for me, um, at least, um, you know, a truly great disaster film, uh, you know, I loved following these characters, um, seeing, you know, how things um, turned out and, uh, you know, I forgot a few things uh, about this film and, uh, you know, just kind of nice to kind of, you know, it's a nice surprise um, to see different moments, uh, you know, as I kind of forgot them and uh, just this um, this film that really has, you know, taken on another form, uh, you know, it's grown on me even more and uh, I do really love this film, uh, you know, so investing, um, so kind of epic and, uh, you know, it's funny, it's uh, dramatic and, uh, you know, really, um, thought-provoking as well and uh, just so well crafted. So yes, my rating for this film is a 92%. Uh, yes, I love this film personally. Uh, I think it's just a great, um, you know, kind of epic uh, disaster film and uh, the way in which Emmerich uh, kind of brought this all together, um, you know, hats off and, uh, you know, there are some slights here and there, uh, but, you know, it doesn't really matter at all uh, for me. It doesn't lessen um, my enjoyment of this, uh, you know, this film overall, you know, as an experience, uh, you know, to take this this kind of uh, idea, you know, this uh, based on this, as we know, prophecy and uh, to kind of go all in and, you know, this can be insane experience, uh, you know, it really is just uh, a treat and uh, to follow these characters and go on this journey, uh, you know, emotionally as well, um, so rewarding and uh, in the end, you know, this kind of emotional and kind of um, thought-provoking um, film, uh, you know, that really is just so, um, you know, kind of rich, uh, you know, with details, you know, in its, in its visuals and uh, a wonderful flow as well. Um, the editing is just so strong here and uh, yes, I love this film personally. Great memories of this and um, Independence Day as well, as I say, in particular um, from Emmerich and uh, just um, these two films here. So enjoyable and uh, 2012, you know, that's my, my brief thoughts, you know, on this film. Uh, I love it personally and uh, it'd be great to hear. Your thoughts as well, um, everyone watching this video. Um, of course, a thanks um, to everyone uh, who watched this. And uh, once again, a big thanks to Anthony um, for having me on the channel. Um, just really, as I say, an honor and uh, really nice of you um, to invite me um, to this uh, to this review. And uh, it was great to kind of go back and watch this film uh, again. And uh, yes, back to you. A big thanks to Cine Arts for being here in this video. Loved hearing your thoughts, man. And it seems like we're pretty much on the same page when it comes to this one. Sometimes I shoot these movies out to people and just say, hey, you want to be in this collab with me? And I really never know if the person's going to like it or not like it. And I never really send movies only that I like. I really do send quite a few times movies that I don't love. And I just want to see if the other person likes them or doesn't like them. So I was very happy to watch your video and see that you do, in fact, enjoy this film just like I do. And similar to what I said as well, it's like, yeah, it's just a fun, entertaining film with good performances that is just entertaining to watch. And Roland Emmerich really does direct this film really, really well. I think that at the core of this story is a great human story with some fun visual effects. And sure, there's some things you can nitpick as far as moments of dialogue, maybe some useless characters, maybe moments where some of the CG is a little bit dated compared to today's standards. You know, this wasn't 2009 Avatar, but the CG at the time was still good enough for these moments and these sequences to feel epic to feel big to feel the danger of what's happening overall i find this film to be a good fun time that's just entertaining to watch with a great human story at its center with some you know cgi that you can laugh at here and there but overall it's all still really believable it's really entertaining to watch if you've never seen this film before and you're into disaster films i think it has a great family story at its center that really uh, allows you to see what people would do in a situation where you know everything is on the line you know what i mean where you kind of have to set aside any bs that you have 
have or any sort of like I'm too cool for school feelings or whatever it is. You know, I think that this movie did a really good job of honing in on what would really happen if a lot of us were stuck in this kind of situation with people that we love that maybe we have some sort of issues with, but you kind of have to learn to put that aside when you have volcanoes exploding, you know? I think that Roland Emmerich handles it really, really well and I just really enjoy the human story at the center of this very big and over the top film that in a lot of ways could have turned out to be fairly generic. So what are your guys' thoughts on 2012, on 2012, whatever you call it? What is your favorite disaster film? Leave all those comments down below in the description box. And again, I wanna give a big thanks to my guest, Cine Arts, for being here in this video. Loved hearing your thoughts and I very much look forward to doing more collabs as time goes on. If you guys enjoyed this video, please consider hitting that like button down below. It really helps the channel out, helps getting my videos out there to more people. Uh, you guys can find the link once again to Cine Arts down below. I think I just said that. Uh, subscribe for more videos if you guys have not already done so. So much more movie content coming out. I'm definitely looking forward to talking about a lot of great films this year. And as usual, I'm super grateful to all of you guys who watch and support the channel. So I'm going to go now. Thank you guys all so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.